But the NFL, truly a global game as we come to you from Frankfurt, Germany and Deutsche Bank Park. Today we hit double digits week 10 and we've got a good one in store as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the New England Patriots. The final game of the 2023 International Series, the Colts and Patriots underway here in Germany. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Throwing Jones. And incomplete to open things up. Tyquan Thornton, the one he was looking for. But it'll be second down. You look at this cold defense. They've been pretty good against the pass. Not amazing, but good. Number 13 in the league. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And? Too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. If those add up into big mistakes, big mistakes add up into points against you. Third play here in this opening drive as they're up against a third and five. Now Jones. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. That was the first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Barringer on to punt for the Patriots. That's taken on the 25. A very nice punt that time, but they get 11 back on the return. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and 10. Good starting field position for the Colts as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Richardson off the play fake. And that one incomplete, but now a penalty flag coming in late. That might be P.I. A little too aggressive defensively, and the flag comes out. And no one trying to cover is going to like a call going against them, but you have to like the effort there. Went for the interception, just unable to get it, and the flag did come out. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, this defense for the Pats, they were terrific a week ago in the win over Washington. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number, six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were on top of their game right from the first snap. Ready. From the 46, here's the second and nine. Now yeah, Richardson back to throw it. Let's one go downfield for Pierce. And this is cut inside the five. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Colts get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Not game on 
Charles, every time that he makes one of these plays, I, I think the front office, they get a bigger and bigger collective smile because they feel more confident that they have found their guy, their future at quarterback. And they should feel that way. It's obvious he's a big part of why they have such a good record this season. You're right about the bright future as well, and by association, a bright future for the franchise too. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that look at this? Middle of the field, a breakaway. Shoves him aside. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry, 77 yards. And the Patriots are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Well, go ahead and strap in, partner. I mean, <laughs> less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side. A quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And they come into this one riding that nice long win streak. And remember, next weekend is an open week for them. So that if they can get the win here, a lot of momentum into that time off. It certainly is. And if you're wondering if anybody's saying, boy, this is coming at a bad time, we want to keep playing. The answer can be yes, because when teams are on a hot streak, they want to keep going. But what the veterans are telling the young guys in the locker room, an open week is always good, guys. Take it, and let's go with it. Back to Taylor on first down. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Now second and nine. Now Richardson going to shift things up. Here's Richardson to throw on second down. Open man is Higgins. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that's going to make it third down and less than a yard. Well, he had his eyes on 200 yards last week, earned an AFC Offensive Player of the Week. And he was really, really good. Fun to watch back in tape with you. It was fun to watch, wasn't it? He's trying to have the same type of a game in this one. But what was fun watching was how he read the defense. No matter what they presented, he had an answer for it. And that's why it was open during that game. Richardson under pressure. And down he goes. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. And Audible here to get a new look. Richardson on fourth down. Dancing to his left. And I think the ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Well, they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Taylor will get this to about the 38. Now you look at this Patriots defense. Well, they were very strong in that victory from a week ago. One thing you always look for when you're evaluating a defense, how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get? How about last week's game? The number was six. <laughs> Phenomenal performance. 
They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Second down, another run with Taylor. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. On third down, here's Richardson. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jerron Bentley. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. down carry by Elliott. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Adetami Adebare, he got in there to stop him before he could get back to the line of scrimmage. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Jones now off the play fake. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You got to cash in and get some points. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Operating from the gun, Jones. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And his kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. to seven. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points in the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points. But that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41 yard line. Now a handoff up the middle. Merritt, he'll get this up to about the 44. It may be only a gain of three yards, but that back, he deserves a lot more credit on the play. That could have easily been stopped at the line, but his vision and his determination found some space to turn it into that modest gain. Here's second and seven. Richardson going to change the play here. On second down, it's Taylor. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he is out of bounds, but now before he's inside the 30. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28-yard line. Quick throw out wide, and Pierce has got it. Two yards on the pickup there, and that'll bring up second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. 
So from the 26 yard line, here's the second and eight. From the gun, it's Taylor. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 20-yard line. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Off play action, Richardson steps away. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Well, you know me, whether you need it or not, I'm going to give a little unsolicited advice. Just throw it downfield out of the pocket only if you're absolutely sure. Otherwise, use your running ability and try to get those yards a safer way. It would be a very makeable field goal try from here, but instead they're going to go for it. Uh, how about this? They'll change it at the line. Going for it on fourth, here's Richardson. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just need the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. something else Taylor is going to take this one in for a Colts touchdown and the thing you have to love about Jonathan Taylor he's a shifty speed guy most of the time when you hand him the football but he's not coming off the field when you get down near the goal line because he's as tough and gritty as they come and he finishes things off here by getting into the end zone Gay is on for the point after. And that makes it 14-10. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. For most people, the excitement of the kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder into ball carrier, and down he goes. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they have the game here followed by the open date on the calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are, but let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Second and seven. Again, it's Elliott. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Two yards still to go. Third down now. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll run it with Elliott. And he's got the first as they'll bring him down at the 28-yard line. Backed up where they were on this side of the field, that was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the low man wins? Where's getting into the offensive backfield and spilling the play? How did they permit them to pick up a first down in that spot? Blitz coming and down he goes. 
They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. And nowhere to hide on that play. No, there was not, because every exit door, that was surrounded. I think that was supposed to be a bootleg, but he had no chance to get outside the pocket and try and make a play. Keeps himself upright. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Quinny Pay racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, winds up getting buried for the loss. Here's Jones, throwing on third and long. Dio Odangbo. The offensive line is in tatters as that's now three sacks in three plays. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And he'll just punch it out of there, and it's not a great kick. Take it on the midfield logo. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Richardson to throw off play action. Rolling to his left. This is caught. And he will be brought down with a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. He got 29 yards that time. rushing touchdown on the year and the Colts are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead and always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice and it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on just think about halftime if, it, if this is all he gets he'll just sit there at the half and think all right two already I can get some more I can get some more and it'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space after the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Patriots take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Pats at the line ready to go. And this not an easy situation. You're down early in the elements. You're on the road. How do you get the mojo back? Well, one thing is to remember that as an offensive player, you have a much better idea of what you're trying to accomplish and where you're trying to go than the defender. So in this case, because you know it, you can make your cuts with a little more decisiveness, maybe a second fake, some double moves, things of that nature, to go ahead and try and put some pressure on the defense. Inside give to Elliott. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. A nice effort and an even nicer stop from Quiddy Pay. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Out of the gun. They'll look to throw. Now a short one to Gesicki. So the completion results there in nine yards. And now we've got a third down and three. Back to throw. Jones. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. That's good for the Patriots. First down. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now. First and 10. Off the play fake. Jones. Right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. There he goes, right side. And he'll get this back across the midfield, striping down to the 47-yard line. So that changes things. You get the interception, and then to boot, a good return tacked on. And really, it was down to him versus the quarterback on the return, and that's one you would think the defender would win. 
but a nice job there of seeing the play all the way to the end and making the tackle by the QB. First and 10, Taylor now. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they're trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop the jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. Richardson now on second down. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. Here's Richardson to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Well, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. Richardson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with a football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And that will force a turnover on downs. Brown throwing on first down. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Jones, a final shot before break. His throw incomplete. So we hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try to help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation and pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. First and 10 at the 32 yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. And Richardson going to move him around. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustment, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But it looks like they're ready to go. Now it's Richardson. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them, and not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily, fell incomplete. Now they'll audible to something else.
Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Well, it's too early to figure out what kind of adjustments this defense made at halftime, but that's a good start to the second half. They can now afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation here. Jones on the return. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, OK, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Off play action. Jones. Rush coming in. He's taken down. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Now Jones throwing on third and long. So the completion good for six yards. And that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. Look at the big man rumble. Yeah. Touchdown, New England. Hunter Henry, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Patriots' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive. And it's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. They'll let Elliott try and run it in. And he's not going to get in as a try for two comes up empty. So they will be unable to cut this to a field goal as the differential remains five. A five-point game now as here comes the kickoff. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. Certainly want to avoid what they had to do last possession, and that was pump the football, because this, this game's starting to tighten up. In a basketball sense, you think about taking a little bit of the air out of the ball, right? Maybe milk some clock, limit the possessions. In this case, they might want to do the same thing, but control the game offensively, put together some first downs, put together a drive, and keep it away from them. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the round, and that one winds up incomplete. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. And now they're in the hurry up. Richardson shotgun on third down. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game, and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. Ford on fourth, Richardson forced out to his left. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. Boy, a curious decision.
decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. They'll try and get the running game going with Elliott. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole that closed there quickly at the end. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he'll find his way down right around the 12. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. Boy, the numbers throwing the football just not turning in the right direction. Last week he was under 50%. He's under 50% again here. And we haven't gotten an announcement but it appears to me that he might be a little dinged up and is just trying to play through. You know, he's one of those tough guys that wants to answer the bell each and every play for his team. That might be throwing off his accuracy. Jones now throwing on fourth down. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And the Colts are going to take over with a football. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Last time out, Charles, they opted to go for it on fourth down in their own territory. Didn't get it. But the defense held strong, and they hold on to this slim lead. And how about as the defense ran off the field? How about the greeting they got from their teammates on the sideline? They kept that narrow lead by their nice play. Now, let's pay it off for them, right? Punch it in on this drive, take that lead back up to two possessions. That would be a nice little thank you gift to them. They run once more with Taylor. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. So not a lineman, but the tight end instead this time, drawing the holding call. And more and more, what you're getting with tight ends are guys who are much more receiver than blocker. They may be willing, but that might not be their thing. Oftentimes, they'll be the ones getting the penalties. And the tight end goes in motion left. Play action. Now Richardson. He's going to look deep down the field. And that's caught inside the 30. Schwartz, 82 yards, and they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie, big time throw right there. Great poise, stepped up, trusted he could lay it in there perfectly, and he knew that his guy was going to make the catch on the other end. Nice collaboration. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And on the last drive, they were in field goal range. They just opted not to kick it, didn't get it. How does that change the mentality this go around? I don't think it changes much for the head coach because this is what he preaches all the time. Attack at all times in any spot on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now, your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit if they're in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. To throw once more on second and ten. 
Jones, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're going to try and throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. In motion right goes Higgins. First and ten. Here's Richardson with it. That's going to be brought in by Higgins. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Motion man is Schwartz. They'll look to run with Taylor. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, his third touchdown of the game, number 16 on the season. And the Colts are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And that one makes this a 19-point game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Certainly not what they wanted there, so the football by rule comes out to the 40. Well, not one you see often there as he fails to keep it between the sidelines, and that is a penalty every time, and going to give this offense better field position. And it's every kickoff guy's nightmare, isn't it? Because you don't see yourself doing this, and most of the time you don't. It's absolutely a miss hit, and now your team pays the price. Bad field position for your defense. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. Now a second and ten. To throw again, Jones. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. And the Colts are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. They go play action with Richardson. Out to his left. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Well, the incompletion there stops the clock. Any surprise they're throwing here late? Ordinarily, yes, because you would think enough is enough. They've got plenty of lead. But I've seen this a bunch of times as well. The defense can crowd the line of scrimmage. If you just hand it off inside, you're getting your running back popped a lot as well. Sometimes the defense dictates it. If they're going to crowd it, you may have no other choice but to throw it downfield. Richardson looking to throw this. 
And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. Now Richardson going to shift things up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is incomplete. Oh, that looked like a sure six points, but he could not get that to stick, and that is a golden opportunity wasted there. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. But somehow, he just couldn't squeeze it. Here, Richardson yet again. And his throw here is incomplete. Alec Pierce, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up third down. Kyle Duggar there on the cover. Now Richardson. Throw left side complete. That's Higgins. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. On fourth down, Richardson. And he's brought down. Can't do anything with the football. It's a sack and a turnover on downs. The Colts unable to convert here on fourth down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. They start on the ground with Elliott. There he goes, left side. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Tenth carry now for Elliott. Shreds it with a stiff arm. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Just a gain of a couple there. And yeah, that'll bring us to a third and four. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. After the false start, sets up a third and nine. Now Jones. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And it'll be a turnover on downs. They'll try the left side with Taylor. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. 87 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. Good gain there on first down and keeps him in a running situation probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, 
Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Turns into a nice play. They'll try and run for the first with Taylor. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15. And they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Richardson off the play fake. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They're still throwing the football here, and obviously the incompletion stops the clock. That's a bad thing. Feels to me like they're just keeping them honest on defense because you know they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and try and stop any type of a running play. Short little passes may work. And Blitz coming, and down he goes. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. This is a little hard for me to compute because I'm watching sack after sack happen, but somehow they're still behind in the game. I would expect all of this defensive pressure to translate to them taking a lead, and thus far, it hasn't happened. Time's winding down. They don't want to waste this type of performance from these ace pass rushers. How to approach this. Third down and 16 yards to go. Back to throw. Here's Richardson. Escaping the pressure right. And he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. Will Mallory, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Colts add on to their fourth quarter lead, and they are on their way to improving to 8-2. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter, and the QB is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Well, I think that the folks here had hoped that maybe this home atmosphere would carry their guys to a surprise victory. But it does not appear that that's going to be the case. There's too much to handle on the other side in this one. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. A first down carry by Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now Jones. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. This has been a rough one to put it mildly for him. And after this one's done, you just feel like at the post-game press conference, this team's going to have a lot of questions and definitely not a lot of answers. Throwing Jones. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And he is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Again, he'll drop to throw. And they get Jones for the third time in this ball game. And the Colts will take over possession here up at the 34. 
The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. Well, they don't need to score here, that's for sure. They could just kneel it. They've got the huge lead late fourth quarter, but we'll see how they're feeling, Charles. Yeah, we all... And that's caught inside the 30. And he's brought down after a very nice game. That one looks like he'll throw here. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is of all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish.